My name is Nisa Sun, and I am an artist. Through my work, I strive to uplift marginalized voices because everyone's story matters. After all, we are a global family. For the past decade, I've been drawing mostly Black, Brown, and Native folks, as they are the main faces of systemic oppression here in the U.S. Now, amidst the coronavirus outbreak, I moved to draw people that look like me. Since the coronavirus outbreak that started in Wuhan, China, racist attacks have been happening all over the globe to Chinese people and people who look like us. People have reported being spit at, yelled at, denied service, physically attacked, and even killed. As if the global pandemic wasn't already a major disruption, we also are experiencing this alarming xenophobia perpetuated even by the highest levels of our government and in the mainstream media. We're seeing and experiencing this. And while we know racism is not a new infection in America, how do we start to combat this together? Normally, I would probably be organizing events to gather, discuss, and organize against these acts of hatred. But due to the coronavirus outbreak, I followed the guidelines for safety and quarantined myself. But quarantine won't stop change. In this moment of ugliness, people all over the world are responding. Despite being isolated in our homes, there is a collective movement building digitally. The hashtag I am not a virus is one of the most recognized rallying cries. And as routine plans and gatherings have been canceled, I have more time to think about how to respond to these attacks and it has given me more opportunity to focus on how to display my beloved friends and family in their true beauty and strength. I am leaning into my artist's vision and I am illustrating images of Chinese and Asian folks to remind everyone that we are your neighbors, your coworkers, your business owners, your employees, your medical professionals, your creatives, and very much a part of your global family. This hatred hurts all of us, no matter where our families come from and racism is one infection we can defeat together. As we take steps to keep ourselves and our loved ones healthy and safe, it is also a time to unite and practice compassion for ourselves and each other, for a world where we all can thrive. Will you unite with us too?